Hello students. The next series of videos is about, uh, well, the name of the topic is called quadratic relationships. Now in year eight, you studied another type of relationship called a linear relationship. So let's have a quick recap of what that was all about. So a linear relationship is given by a rule that connects uh, two variables, x and y. So for example, um, the rule could be y equals 2 subtract x. Now, x can be any number. For example, x could be 0. And then 2 subtract 0 is 2. And therefore, when x is 0, y is 2. And that gives us, um, on the graph here, that just gives us that point. x could be 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, which means when x is 1, y is 1. When x is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0, so y is 0, etc. And if you plotted all of the points um, with coordinates x, y that uh, fit that relationship, that made that relationship true, they would all lie on this straight line. So because that rule or that type of rule gives us a graph that looks like a straight line, it's called a linear relationship. So let's find out what a quadratic relationship is. So here I have a function machine. Now a function machine just basically it takes a number in, it applies a rule to it, and tells you what the, the answer is, what the new number is. So for example, if I put 1 into my rule or my function, I get 1 coming out. If I put 2 into my rule, I get 4, 3, gives me 9, 4 gives me 16. Hopefully by now you can guess what's going to happen when I put 5 into my rule. It's going to come out as 25. And 6, when I apply my rule to 6, I get 36. And the rule, hopefully, um, you figured out is that the output number is just the square of the input number. So 2 squared gives 4, um, 4 squared gives 16, 5 squared gives 25. And writing that as a rule, we just get y equals x squared. And that's uh, an example, the simplest example of what's called a quadratic function. Let's go ahead and take that rule and draw its graph and see what it looks like. So here's my rule up here, y equals x squared. So as we did in year eight, we start by making a table of values. In this case, I'm going to go from x equals negative three up to x equals three. So I get a, a fair few points so I can see what the graph looks like. So the first thing we have to do is substitute negative three in place of x. Well, negative three squared Negative 3 squared is positive 9, since a negative times a negative is a positive. So when x is negative 3, y is 9. When x is negative 2, we get negative 2 squared, where negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 1 squared is positive 1, etc. So just to save a bit of time, I'll complete the table fairly quickly. You might want to just stop the video and check those values. But um, that basically tells us that here's the x-coordinates, and if I uh, put those numbers into that equation, these are the y-coordinates. Now, the next thing we have to do is plot these points on the graph. So when x is negative 3, y is 9. So when x is negative 3, y is 9. We plot a point just there. When x is negative 2, x is negative 2, y is 4, and so on. So I've got seven points, and again, I'll save a bit of time by plotting them quickly. And again, you might want to just double check that that's all correct. But there's the seven points that we, uh, that we found the coordinates of. And then finally, we join those up with a smooth curve. And that's what the graph of a quadratic relationship looks like. Okay, we'll stop the video there, and in the next video, we'll look at some of the terminology, some of the words that we use when we're describing quadratic relationships.